What's up everyone, Jeremy here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to configure your Mac with OBS to capture your screen, your video, your voice, your guitar, audio from your DAW, everything all at once without any latency. All right, so how do we do this? First thing, you're gonna to wanna to download and install the Black Hole Virtual Audio Driver. This is brought to us by Existential Audio. You can find it right here on github.com. I will put the link directly to this in the description of this video. But to install it, you're gonna to wanna to click on the Releases tab right here. Click on Releases. Download the latest version. To do that, you'll find a package installer right here. Click on that, it'll download it to your Mac unzip it, install it, you're good to go. Once you have that, uh, bring up the audio MIDI setup. To do that, the way that I do it is I just hold the command key on my keyboard and tap the space bar, and I just start typing audio. All right, type in audio MIDI setup, and there it is. We're gonna go right into that, and you'll see, you'll have this new virtual audio driver device here called Black Hole 16 Channel. Now, the next step is you're gonna to want to create a new multi-output device. So you can see I already have one here, but to create one, click the plus on the bottom left, click Create Multi-Output Device, and after you've done that, you can select which uh, of all the different audio devices and, and virtual drivers you have on your machine that you want to route audio out to. Again, this is a multi-output device. So, I have the built-in uh, built output, my Scarlett audio interface, and then the Black Hole 16 channel. So this is routing audio into, into the black hole, if you will. Uh, the next step, so how do we integrate this with our DAW, for example? Well, in Logic Pro, I just select the output device, multi-output device, and that's going to send audio out into my Scarlett audio interface, which goes to my studio monitors, uh, and then also it's sending it to the built-in computer audio as well as the Black Hole 16 channel. So that's going to send the audio into the Black Hole. And then what you're gonna wanna do is in OBS, I'm gonna drag this over and we're gonna get this crazy repeating pattern here, but ignore that for a second because what I wanna show you is you're going to go into your settings, go into audio, and then on one of your mic or auxiliary audio inputs, you can see where I've already got it selected, you'll select the black hole 16 channel. And if you notice when I play, uh, watch the, uh, the mic aux number two up here in the audio input, you can see my Focusrite Scarlett audio interface uh, lighting up there with my voice audio, but the one right directly underneath it, as I play the guitar, You can see it's catching my guitar. Now, uh, if I play audio back from the DAW, let me actually bring this down a bit and then you can see it happening. So we'll go and we'll just play something back here real quick. There you go. You can see it's catching the audio from the DAW as well. So not only can I play the uh, the guitar directly? And obviously, this is this I'm monitoring the input from the DAW here directly. Uh, but I could also just fire up uh, one of the Neural DSP plugins, for example, and play directly through that uh, without having to have the DAW open at all. Uh, so taking it one step further, if you want to capture your voice on one channel, your guitar and DAW on another channel, uh, you can do that. So later in post, when you are finished recording a video, for example, you drop this into Premiere Pro, uh, whatever it is you use to edit videos with, uh, you can have the, the audio tracks separated so that you can cut and, and cut out the sections that you don't want. Or for example, as I'm strumming on the strings right here, you, you'll you pick this, the mic is gonna pick this up, the, the strumming on the strings. So to get rid of that, I can cut those sections out. So to do that, 
we're going to open settings and then under output we're going to go to recording and then on the audio tracks right here you can select how many audio tracks you want to be to record during a recording session and then the last step after you've enabled the different number of audio tracks that you want to record during a recording session to uh, to tell the to tell OBS which track you want say your voice or the guitar and the DAW to be routed to separately you're going to click on the the little cog or the gear icon on one of your audio inputs go into advanced audio properties and then right here on the right you can select which tracks you want the audio to route out to and then in your final recording you can drop the the uh the mp4 or whatever file format you're recording in into again like uh, adobe premiere and you'll have your video you'll have your audio and you'll have your daw and mic and everything separated uh, which makes it easier for editing obviously all right so i'm actually in the process of editing the video that you're watching currently and I figured what better way to demonstrate how you can separate the audio tracks in the final recording uh, or the final output file than just demonstrate it real quick. So here's what it looks like. And I use Adobe Premiere to edit my videos. And as you can see, when you drop the, the, uh, the, the file into Premiere, you're going to have multiple tracks show up here. You have your video uh, and then I have my audio track, which is audio one here. And then audio two is the, the audio from the computer, essentially. So it's the guitar, the DAW, things like that. Uh, and so we'll demonstrate this here. So uh, I will mute the second track so you can hear my, my voice. Uh, you can hear me uh, playing the guitar. Uh, you can actually hear the mic picking up the, the studio monitors in the room playing the audio. And that's what this sounds like. Right directly underneath it, as I play the guitar, you can see it's catch. And so you could hear the the pick, you know, strumming the strings. You could hear the speaker or the mic picking up the speaker output. But now I can easily cut all that out. Uh, so here is the the computer audio. And so you see there's no audio from me talking there. So all I can do, all I have to do is just trim these sections here, unlink this, and then I can select that portion. And now it sounds like that. We can actually bring up the gain on these. It's a little quiet. But directly underneath it, as I play the guitar, you can see it's catching my guitar. So there you go. That's that's essentially why it's valuable and, and useful to separate the audio tracks so that in post you can cut and, and, and take out the actual picking and string noise. All right, after completing the video yesterday, I realized there was a couple things that I mentioned in the intro that uh, I never actually showed in the video, so I'm gonna go over those real quick now. Uh, and those two things are capturing the screen and capturing the video input from a camera. In my case, I'm using my iPhone camera, uh, and I'm gonna show you how you can do that yourself if you have an iPhone. Uh, so the first thing is uh, the OBS camera. And this is specifically for iPhone. It doesn't look like there's an Android version, at least as of yet. Uh, and to get to this, you can actually open your browser and just go to obs.camera. It's that simple. And then there's a download link right here. It'll take you directly into the App Store. There's also help and documentation on how to get up and run, uh, how, to, how to install it, how to set it up, how to connect it to OBS and get up and running. Um, but I'm gonna drag OBS over here into the main window. Please disregard the uh, stacking effect here. Uh, so what I have is we have this iOS camera input. And if I go to properties, uh, all it's basically going to do is show you if you hit refresh devices It'll give you a list of the devices connected and mine is showing up here Obviously because I have my camera connected it, it's using the USB cable There is also a Wi-Fi option, but uh, I haven't tried it because I've been afraid that there would be probably more latency that way um, And then you can just hit reconnect device after you've plugged in the camera and it'll reconnect and you're ready to go and so that is the camera and obviously the display capture is simple enough. It's just built into OBS. Click the plus, click, uh, where's it at? Display captures right there. If you have multiple monitors such as I do, it'll ask you which one you wanna use. And that's basically it.
Uh, so that is how to capture audio uh, from from a microphone, from your, your DAW or your computer, how to screen capture and, and get video from your uh, from your iPhone, from your iOS device. Um, one very, very last thing that I will mention is uh, with with my Focusrite Scarlet audio interface, I have multiple outputs or even virtual outputs um, that uh, I wanted to be able to get audio from because I actually have a hardware compressor that I have the condenser mic, I have it going into the, the audio interface, and then I have uh, outputs going into the compressor back into the audio interface, and then a virtual output, which is output number three. Um, but I could not find a way to get that particular virtual output to show up or allow me to select that in, uh, in, in OBS. So to solve that problem, I had to use uh, an application called, I'm gonna pull OBS out of the way. I had to use this application here called Loopback. Now, this is not a free uh, application and you don't necessarily really even need this, uh, especially if you don't have like a hardware compressor uh, limiter or gate as I'm using. Um, you can easily just use the outputs one or two from the Scarlett Audio Interface and select those right in uh, in OBS. That works just fine. And then even in post, if you wanna bring up the levels or add a compressor, you can do that then. Um, but for me, uh, using loopback allowed me to uh, select the specific audio outputs that I wanted, uh, as you can see here, which was actually not three, but it was number four. And then I can pull this into the main uh, channels one and two. And then when I select um, one and two in, the, uh, in, in an OBS, it also includes that virtual output number four. Um, so that solved my problem there. And that's it, that's everything. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found this useful and you'd like to see more, please hit subscribe, hit like and share. And as always, thank you for your support.